<laughs> All right, you guys, so this is something we very rarely do in Florida, is dig our vehicle out of the snow. It's stressful doing this. A, I'm thinking about this knife that's in my head that I want to design. But at the same time, I'm dealing with completely crazy, icy, snow-covered roads. So, we will uh, hopefully see you guys in Blaine without any dings or dents on the truck. Look how beautiful that is. So cool. Thank God we're not stranded way up there somewhere. Yo, what's up, happy people? I am Robert Arrington. This is my YouTube channel, Deer Meat for Dinner, and I wanna say welcome. If you're a subscriber, you know where I'm at. This is the Silver Stag Factory right here in Blaine, Washington. And I've been thinking about it for a long time. I need a pocket knife. So I've come up here and we're gonna design it and manufacture it today. You're riding shotgun. All right, y'all, it is cold out there. That right there is the heart and soul of this whole operation. That is Miss Barbara Wetmore. I've loved this lady. She is just, I call her all the time just to give her a hard time. I always talk in like different voices and I say crazy things. But uh, this is it, man. I'm stoked. Where's Brad at? Brad's out in the shop, that way. She's here to handle all of y'all's orders. This is Megan. She, she's from Colorado, but she now lives here in Blaine. And so for all of you who have ordered Silver Stag knives, you're either dealing with Barbara or Megan. So just be nice to them. <laughs> you said the coolest thing. Everyone she's ever dealt with from Deer Meat for Dinner has been a good experience. Awesome. All right. <laughs> there he is. This is the man. This is Mr. Brad Smith. Hey, how are we? We have had so much fun. I don't know if you guys got to watch the video yesterday, but we had a huge seafood feast at his house, which was so much fun. Then we had a huge ice storm. He and I almost got killed by falling branches. Power went out. Power goes no out. No shower. <laughs> we were freezing cold, but it's okay. All good. All right, you guys. Time to head to the CAD because what's in here is going to be in my hand. So I use a pocket knife a lot. Whether I'm on the boat, or I'm in the woods, on the ranch, or even just around my house, I use a knife a lot. And one of the things that I do, let's just take this knife for example. I, I want it to fit my hand. So I want, the, I want the knife to have some radius so that it fits my hand. So I want the blade to come up and then swoop down. And the reason is, if I've got line in my hand, a lot of times I'll hold this up, whether it's rope or fishing line or whatever, I'll choke up on it and I'll cut it. But at the same time, the front, I want to have a curvature to it. And then the back, I want to roll up. So like, let's say I'm going around the ankles of a deer or a hog or an alligator. I can pull it and I can, I can ring it out. And yeah. then come down the leg and I've got, the, I've got that blade up front that's got a nice round radius to it so that I can start skinning. I want the blade to be sturdy enough that I can work with it and I'm not worried about rolling over a tip or breaking it. I want it to be a structurally sound. I don't even know if this is making sense, but if I, I'm just throwing all of my desires out there, and then we're gonna go from there. This would be the area that everything is gonna fall to that I could cut. And I, if you imagine, I want this radius, if you were to continue this up right here, mm -hmm. I want this to, to work. So then, as, as you, you can see what I'm talking about? Yeah. You see? and it comes up, then this is gonna fall right back long. And it's gotta be a lock blade. So everything is symmetry. It has to have that flow. When it, when it fits in your hand, and the, the curvature of the, of the handle to the curvature of the blade, it, it works perfectly so that when you're skinning, it's balanced so it doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't feel bulky and your hand doesn't cramp. So let's pull this up a little bit, let's pull this back a little bit, and let's make sure we stay inside that seven centimeter threshold. Yeah, I'm gonna set up our seven centimeter right now. So there's our seven centimeters. What do you think, John? Yeah, I think it works pretty good. 
Have you ever seen a knife like this? I mean, is this something that you're familiar with? I haven't seen one before. That means we're on the right track. I got my boys. We're getting ready to do some work. Went very well. Went amazingly well. This is their new high-tech laser machine that's going to be able to cut out, profile the blade, and all the little parts. This thing's a couple hundred thousand bucks, but it gets the job done. This is so cool, you guys. The last video that I did here designing a knife was designing the woods and water, which it's cutting out the woods and water profile right here. These are all woods and water blades. So someone, could be you, is gonna have a woods and water and that will be part of the knife. We've got what we think we want on here, now we're gonna cut it out. These are the new custom deer meat for dinner laser glasses. Oh no way, look at this. No, that, that, there it is. That fast? Yeah. We've only been down here about five minutes and we now have a, oh dude, look at that. You may have just hit a home run. See what I'm saying? I want my, see how my finger just naturally lays on there? Now if we can make that knife sit in my hand, this is gonna be, okay boys, what do you think? I mean, so, I think it's beautiful. That's great. They took this grinder and they surface ground it. And what that did was it made it perfectly flat. And you can always look at this. This is D2 steel. If you look at it with the glide on it just right, it kind of looks like it's got orange peel. It looks like it's got a little texture to it. And that is an amazing steel that will hold an amazing edge and stay razor sharp, which is a knife that is not sharp. It's just Jim. Mock it. <laughs> He's about to put on his Darth Vader suit. <laughs> like, you walk in here and see Tim, you don't even know who he is. He's like, hey, what you doing, like, Mark? Yeah, look at that. It's a face only a mother could love. <laughs> See how it's rough? That's called a rough grind. Now he's gonna put a polishing edge on it. All polished up. There's a dunk bucket if you want it. <laughs> It's, this is so cool. So now you see how it's much more polished and starting to look like a knife. Okay, you guys, so we got some new characters. What's your name? Marcus. This is Marcus and? Stan. Marcus and Stan. There it is, the new prize possession of the pocket knives industry up here, I guess, huh? Yes, sir, yes, sir. So this is our blade that we just designed. And this is some stabilized, stabilized walnut. Take our glue. Take my, give that a nice tight uh, push down, make sure it doesn't pop off in the middle of us shaping it. This is one, just one of the other knives that he's working on right now. And to think that every one of these are made by somebody, not made by machine, made by somebody, makes them so valuable to me. It's already got some radius in it. 
I want to I want to bring a, I just want to swoop these down. I want this to fit in my hand comfortably. Comfort is the key because when you're working with a knife for hours, you don't you don't want your hand cramping. Yep, exactly. So real precision, just get in there as close as we can get. See, it's looking a little prettier. It's getting real close. This is the liner of the knife. It's all polished up, all shaped. Now, it's time to add the blade and start shaping this, this knife handle so that it fits perfectly. He's putting that knife together. Once it's together, then we're gonna start shaping it to fit my hand. I'm right behind you, boss. Sounds good. This is, I, I keep saying it's exciting, but it's exciting. Really round down those edges, yeah. right? We'll round the edges once we put that 180 on. Okay. Just so we get that base, and then we'll roll the edge. Okay. 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 So, what do you think about that? Do you think we should take it? We're going to round these edges now, but I can make it skinnier before that if you want. This is the personal touch that I love. Every one of these knives will be unique. Going like uh, back and forth yep. there. Just checking out this part's already kind of getting a little bit of a slope to it there. So now we're taking the yeah. uh, top part of it. Yeah. See that? It's, it's got that rocker, it's got that roll to it. See how I wrap my fingers around it? I'm not moving it. My fingers are just holding it. But that's, watch this. I didn't move the knife. The fingers are just holding it. When that's the case, the knife is balanced in your hand, it will feel light, and it's not gonna make your hand cramp. All right, now we'll throw this 180 on here. Um, I am, I'm blown away. All right, next. Give her a good buffing, make her, give a little shine to it, and then we'll get onto the lasering machine. This guy is shine. Woo, look at that baby come to light. Yeah. We'll just do one side here. Man, you can already kind of see with just the one side, how much of just the tiny grains in the wood are starting to pop just from just wow. that one little slide over. That's Look at this. See the difference? Wow. It's just amazing to see this go from an idea to now it's in my hand. So we're going to head up, see John, and we're going to get this guy laser engraved. Then we're going to polish it and sharpen it. Hey, it all started right here. This is where it started. There you go. All right, brother. You ready? I'm ready. All right, you guys. Now I want you to know something. 
John is an amazing guy. You've been here like three or four years now, right? About three. John is suffering from, uh, what do you got? What's going on with you? Uh, it's called multiple myeloma, it's a blood cancer. He's got blood cancer, so I want all you guys to say prayers for this guy. He's a strong, awesome, wonderful dude. It's an honor to call you a friend. And uh, he's going actually to get treatment as soon as he's done with this knife, so I can't thank you enough. I've not told anyone this yet, and I want to tell you, and we're going to name this knife the Joey. The reason I'm naming it Joey is because a baby kangaroo is referred to as a Joey. It's always in its mama's pouch, and it's so important to the mama. Well, Joey Haluska is one of my best friends in the whole world. Joey, I love you. And there's no one I've ever met that keeps his knife sharper than Joey Haluska. If you go see Joey ever, his knife is razor sharp. And I guarantee you, if Joey gets up to go pee at night, he probably takes his pocket knife with him. So Joey, brother, you're an inspiration to me. You're a wonderful friend. And this knife is named after you. There we go. Mr. Ben. Quick wipe down with some rubbing alcohol to remove any smoke. And there you go. Look at that. Look at that beauty. That's the original. That's the number one, the original, one of one, the Joey. Joey Haluska, you're an amazing friend, brother. I love you and I appreciate you. What do you think of that, Mr. Ben? I think it's beautiful. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. We'll be praying for you. God bless you. Go handle this thing. Um, all right, you guys, this is Justin. Justin does a lot of the polishing and sharpening. And So now that he's polished it, now he's going to make it razor sharp. It's two layers of leather. Wow. <laughs> so like, let's say I want to, see that? I just want to cut this right here, but at the same time, if I want to like bear down on something, I can do it like that. Or if it's really sharp, it just. Oh yeah. Like nothing. That's why we <laughs> use the D2 steel. This knife was just a pigment of my imagination five hours ago. Now I'm holding it in my hand. Let's go see Brad Smith, brother. You're the best. Thank you so much. Up, My man. Wow, it's done, huh? The Joey. Wow, that's awesome. You know, I got a great team. I really do. They Your team is amazing. Out. Right there. You know? He's a friend. We do a lot of business together, but each and every one of you, you right there watching this video, I want to tell you thank you for taking the time to watch this. I I had a dream of what this knife was gonna look like. Awesome. And it's exactly it, it's even better than what I dreamed because I dreamed it, but watching it come to life, making it, now, now I can't wait to walk up to Joey's house, knock on his door, and hand him this knife and tell him the story. Because, I mean, he may get the first one, but I'm getting the second. I can't wait to use this knife in the field. Yeah, this guy really came out good. It's one of my favorite blade designs we've ever done. All right, y'all. So we just got to his house, and Joey is home. I'll bet y'all five thousand dollars right now. I'm gonna ask him if he's got his knife on him. I'll bet you it's in his pocket. What's going on, man? There he is, y'all. Joey Lusky, where's your knife at? I told you. I bet everyone on. I bet everybody on YouTube five thousand bucks you'd have it on your on your. <laughs> I told Joey that we were designing this new knife, and hold on, you guys ready for this? Y'all saw it get built, now watch this. There you go, bro, that's the Joey. Named after <laughs> you, my man. 
Holy cow. Oh, God. Look who it is. It's Carly. I look sick. Oh, you look great. What are you talking about, crazy girl? Sick. Um, oh, you got the flu bug, huh? No. Well, it's like mom said it's allergic reaction from the dog. Allergic to dogs now. Look at the knife that we made. We named that after your daddy. It's good. It's pretty. When's my knife coming? <laughs> Next knife coming up, the Carlita. Carlita. <laughs> I bet you that's going to be nice to skin with. Yeah, man. I love it. Well, it's all you, bro. That's the first one ever made right there, my man. Thank you. You guys, I appreciate y'all making this possible. I appreciate all the love and support that you give us. Go over to silverstag.com. There'll be a link in the description below that will take you straight to this knife. The first 500 of them that we make, we're gonna laser engrave personally for you for free. And uh, there's a lot of work, a lot of work goes into making each and every one of these knives. So this is awesome, you guys. I love you, I appreciate you, but we are gone. <laughs>